Hi folks, right, so we're back in the car for another Abarth video. It's getting a bit like the G-Shock videos, these aren't they? They're coming thick and fast. Um, so anyway, um, inside the Abarth, weirdly, you get a 500 badge. It's not even a 500, this is a 595. So um, Fiat haven't bothered to change this or update it, so all cars get this 500 badge here, which is fine and it's perfectly nice, but it doesn't really tell you what you're sitting in. Now I bought a um, I bought a badge the other day, a little metal badge to put here, and to be honest, it just looks shit. So I've removed that, and it's down here now, and it's going in the bin because it's really, really shit. Um, so what I've done instead is I've bought a um, a vinyl stripe kit to match the side of the car, um, which goes here. So it's on this little stickery thing here it's from eBay, um, about eight quid this cost, um, and it goes there, and these two little bits go here and here. Um, now I've never put a vinyl on in my life, um, so. What I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd show you um, how it goes for me and then you can think about whether or not you want to try and get one of these. But if it goes there, it's going to actually look pretty, pretty decent. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Right, so they've supplied a, um, a dash wipe um, just to get all the crap off. So we'll do that. Do that first, just like a little alcohol wipe. So I'll just give the dash a little, little wipe. I hope it's pretty clean anyway, but... As they've supplied it, we'll give it a wipe over. Okay, so that's that. Uh, this has potential to go very, very wrong. Um, so it could make for a really amusing video, but let's see. Is that dry enough? Yeah, okay. So, now I'm guessing you probably, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. So this is this is coming away like this. It's not detaching from those. Okay, all right. So I've lost a, I've lost part of the B already. So that's not brilliant. Let me pick it back up again. Yeah, just about right. So you need to be really careful with that. That's not. That's not great at all, actually. And I think I'm only going to get one go at this which makes it a bit of a worry. I can already see that there's crack on the side of here. So I need to try and remove that. Where's it gonna look to? Oh, I don't know about this, folks. Right, okay, we're gonna have to take a brave pill. Stick it on, I think. Okay, so it goes just around the side of the 500. There. And kind of goes. Oh god, I wish I measured this. Kind of goes along here. Up to the vent. There. Okay, now I've got a horrible feeling when I take this off, it's going to be full of air bubbles and we'll be taking it straight back off. Um, we'll see. What I might do is get a little, actually the edge of my phone will probably do it, just get that. It's a bit like putting a foam protector on, you never really know what you're going to end up with. So anyway, we'll um, let that stick for a bit. We'll try and pull it off. Literally no idea how this is going to go. Right, let's get the other bit. Um, Okay, so that sits there and there. So obviously we've got to try and match it up with these lines as well. So let's have that. See, they're not, they're not, not coming away brilliantly. Like at all, actually, with this one. Yeah. The trouble is they don't supply any instructions with it. So if you're like me and you've never put a mine on before, you're going to struggle. 
right so they're all kind of coming away so this is very much a one a one shot deal i'm really glad i didn't do the ones on the door and paid a professional to do that all right so we take it up nice and a few moments later so now to me they look a little bit overly long these bits so i guess they're going to wrap into the vent but i'm not sure it's supposed to look like that so anyway let's put this down i'm not sure i think it'll look okay but i don't think it's going to look like a pro's done it Let's, uh, let's have a look, let's peel it off and see if we can have a look and see what it looks like. Gently peeling the edge away. Gently, gently, it's a bit before we get to these bits where they came off before. Slowly, slowly, I end up taking the bits off. Yeah, R's okay. I can't see any air bubbles so far, like the little one there. It's the B I'm worried about. Need the B an extra. And we put it down flat like this. The suspense is terrible. He, he's got oh, I think we're okay, I think we're okay on the B. <sighs> Made it. Looks so like there's no air bubbles in it, which is good. Keep going, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Can't see any air bubbles. Right, just pull this last bit off. Gently, gently, gently. Yeah. Nice. Right, let's try these ones. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna struggle with these bits here, they're gonna have to be just pressed down. I think we can take them off. Away. Okay. Gently, gently put it away. Okay, so the edges are sticking up, which isn't great. It looks like this one wants to be a bit of a pig as well. Okay. okay. So just before we take the rest of it off, I'm just going to bend these bits around really gently. Really gently. In actual fact, I think I'll probably do getting a scalpel and just slicing these bits off. And I think what we do is we'll go from the other way with this one. And there you go. I think that looks absolutely wicked. Eight quid, it's an eight quid mod. I love these little mods. These little mods don't cost very much. It just makes your car your own. Brilliant. Anyway, so that's another little other half modding video for you. Um, I hope you're finding these useful. If you like them, give a thumbs up in the comments. Um, tell me what you think of the car, how you think it's looking. Um, and if you want me to do some more, I'll do some more of these. There's a few more bits I want to do to the car. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in seeing it, I'll keep doing them. Um, yeah, I'll uh, see you for the next video. Thanks so much, guys.